DFM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, Prime Minister ensures support for tourism. Health Ministers emphasizes personal hygiene. New technology impacts post Fiji's revenue. From the studios of FBC Subaru. Beva Lindua. To maximize the containment efforts, the government will work closely with the hotel and tourism partners to help identify, isolate and treat any visitors with symptoms of COVID-19. The Prime Minister says those with pre-existing conditions and NCDs like diabetes, heart disease and cancer are at a higher risk of death by COVID-19. However, Bani Marama has assured the tourism operators that the government will continue working with them. Kritika Kumar reports. Fiji's tourism numbers are down and this is expected to remain muted for some time. With our flows of tourism under close supervision, we will continue supporting the tens of thousands of Fijian families who depend on the tourism sector for their livelihoods. The government is working together with tourism operators and other business leaders to combat the effects of COVID-19. We hear their very serious worries about the impact the situation will have on their businesses. As the outbreak worsens and travel restrictions heighten, people are traveling less. Supply chains as well are seeing major disruptions. Beni Marama adds many nations will likely see their economies contract and this is not a time for panic but a time for prudence. We've already made a number of critical unbudgeted uh, expenditures to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's clear we need to reassess our spending priorities for the remainder of the financial year. The Prime Minister is advising people to not sensationalize information. He adds Fijians need to be aware of the risk and actively participate in the nationwide response, emphasizing on the importance of washing hands with soap and water on a regular basis. Kritika Kumar, FBC News. Ordinary Fijians don't need hand sanitizers to protect themselves from COVID-19. Health Minister Dr. Ifremi Wanganabete, while speaking on FBC TV's For the Record program last night, confirmed that hand washing with soap and water is just as effective. He says personal hygiene is vital amid the threat of COVID-19. Just make sure we have soap mm. and water at home. You know, uh, Personally at home, we don't have hand sanitizers. What we do have is soap and water. So we just tell the kids, you know, make sure 20 seconds. The Sunday church services and Holy Communion will continue as normal, says the Methodist Church of Fiji. However, President Reverend Dr. Epineri Wakandeovosa is urging the members of the congregation and its administration to take heed of the advice from the health ministry. He says the Methodist Church is on alert and has all its awareness processes in place. Worship and Holy Communion, there is no change at this time, but uh, be cautious of all that I have uh, said uh, regarding those advisors. Take uh, extra care in cleanliness, washing of hands, and uh, in all aspects of our daily living. That is very, very important indeed. Ensuring a consistent workflow within all health centers across the country is an area the Ministry of Health is working to improve. Health Minister Dr. Ephraimi Wangai Nambete says his ministry is strategizing ways to reduce wasting time for Fijians in all hospitals. He says with the recent upgrade to the Walilevo Health Center, they have been able to serve patients in a timely manner. It's open 24-7, looking at ways we can be able to improve flow. Uh, some people in the community have actually messaged me and said, you know, they've had you know, opportunities when they've been up to value level within 15 minutes or half an hour they've been seen. The rapid change in technology has confirmed how people keep in touch with families and friends, but at the expense of the postal services. The new technological trend is also impacting Post Fiji's revenue, which operates 58 outlets throughout Fiji. Chief Executive Anuradha Bansod says social media has affected postal services. The consumer behavior has changed, the consumer perception has changed, people are more technology oriented. Uh, gone are those days when the people used to write a letters and send the, maybe the law letters and those things has gone down, so people are using more social media. Coming up, Oceania Archery Championship cancelled.
and fitness key for bar football. Stay with us. Bula FM number two and a series. Bula FM number two and a series. Oceania Archery Championship has been cancelled in light of the coronavirus outbreak. This was confirmed by World Archery Fiji President George Fong. The championship was scheduled to be held in Fiji from the 6th to the 9th of next month, serving as a qualifying round to the Tokyo Olympics. Fong says they're in contact with the World Archery International Federation on how to proceed with the Olympic qualification. A trough of low pressure remains slow moving over the northern parts of Fiji. Isolated cloud and showers affect the group. The forecast for tomorrow is for more rain. And that is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Enjoy your lunch. Good afternoon. Bula FM, number 2 and a Bula FM, number 2 and a